Hello and welcome to an extra spooky uh, video. So today I'll be doing a review of this add-on and the uh, the back rooms add-on. Uh, so yeah, hope you guys all do enjoy. And I'm going to take this off because yes, hello Lily. Because it's probably a bit hard to hear me with it on, and also I can't have my glasses on with it on. Also, it gets a bit sweaty uh, and humid in there. After wearing it for too long. So yeah, hope you enjoy this special, uh, like, twin video. Uh, videos. And yeah. Uh, I'll see you. I'll see you guys in a minute when uh, I have everything sorted out. Let's delve into the horror add-on. If the gear wants to respawn. There we go. Yeah, the gear. For some reason. Anyway. So, yeah, let's take a look at this. Don't know what to expect. Then look at... I don't think I looked like too much into the... Uh, Store page because I want to go with like my sleep lines, see what's going on. Ah. Yeah. Also, the lead just finished eating their food. Come here, Lily. Come here. Come on. Yeah. I'm not quite sure. Come on. What's your fucking food? Ah, anyway, we're in. Oh, I'm gonna do one thing real quick just to make it a bit more spooky. Time. Midnight. Here we go. Alright, so we have the horror guidebook. Oh, god damn it. It's another one of these, and it's also tiny as well. Hey, right, horror. Well, welcome to the horror. Add dot. Where's my spyglass? Oh, I actually switched. Welcome to the horror add on where your normal Minecraft world is flipped on its head with a number of horrifying challenges. From vampires to zombies, werewolves, swamp monsters. New pets, new bosses, and more, and even more. This add-on is sure to give your world a new coat of uh, scary challenges. Thank you for downloading our add-on and happy hunting. So, first up we have monsters, the zombie. A new special type of zombie can be found at walking the world. Dropping his own set of special materials. So let's kill him and see what he gives. So. Some zombie. Ah. It's not any in the list of some of the warps. Uh, zombie. Zom zombie. There you go, spawn zombie. Oh no, if I just been horror. There you go. That's actually cool they have that horror in the thing so I can just look up horror and find what I want. So we summon the dude. Pretty cool model. Stab him up. And he dropped un Undead Essence and Zombie Lever. I love them either. This sword has like plundering and looting get free, so they tend to drop a lot of stuff when I kill kill things and the fact that they're not dropping all the stuff is a little bit t concerning because I don't know if I'm if it's just super if they're just all super rare or if you know I'm not getting everything anyway 
Next up is the witch. Special witches that can uh, be found. That they act like the normal witches, but they eventually flee from the player and summon cats that, that uh, will damage the player on hit. So, which, 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 which? Werewolf, we'll how go, witch. Stabber, she dropped. Witch ward and the cursed nail. Let me go into game mode zero. If I punch her, yeah, she has about the same health as a normal pair as a normal thing, so. They do about 20 hearts damage with a fist. Uh, let me just get some diamond armor. A sword. And I'll uh, try that again. Helmet. Chest plate. Leggings. And boots. And a diamond sword. I might as well get a shield as well. So let's summon her in. Well, she was easy to kill. She didn't summon any cats. Guess I just killed her too quickly. Before I to summon them in. Anyway, next up is the mummy. A mummy is uh, can be found in the desert biome. They inflict hunger when uh, when hit by them, just like husks. So they're basically just husks, but with a cool new model. And probably unique drops. Makes a cool sound. Uh, oh, there you go, he dropped some in that time. He dropped Renews. Now, also, the witch dropped a healing potion. So, next up is the werewolf. Werewolves can be found roaming the night. They are dangerous a beast to that to get more powerful as the night goes on, gaining more speed and strength. So some Wait, why am I doing some I can't find that one. Werewolf So I assume like at midnight, he, they'd be at full power. Because that, I think the whole thing is like, because the moon's like at its highest point, that's when they are the most powerful. They drop werewolf fear and werewolf claw. Let me go to the survival and fight one with a diamond sword. That was easy. Disappointingly easy. Uh, so on to the next one, then, I guess. Next one is the uh, Swamp Monster. This creature spawns like normal vanilla drowned, but when hit by them, they drag you underwater. They also inflict poison upon hit. So it's the swamp monster. I would, with it being called the swamp monster, I thought it would specifically spawn in swamp biomes. Oh, and it's big. It is a big guy. Hello. Stop. It dropped a uh, black goo and the creature scale. 
I'm gonna fight it. See if it's uh, any threat about it needing to drag you underwater. Oh wow, well, oh well, okay. It makes you really slow and poisons you. Okay. So that one. Oh, well, I could see you dying to that one, especially if you don't have the armor. Wait, hold on. No, God, yeah. Zombie Ridge. Yeah, that page is just uh, duplicated for some reason. Let's do that page. But anyway, move on to the next page. So we've got Dracula. Dracula can be found roaming the overworld. On attack, he will take your life to heal himself. He also has a chance to turn into a bat when hit. Flee and the flee from, from the player. So we get Dracula. Stab him up. He dropped Vampire Tear. Is that all he drops? No, he drops something else there. A Vampire Fang and Vampire Heart. So I guess these are like very rare drops. Let's fight him in survival with the diamond stuff. Well that was easy. Next up is... Dracula's Bride. Dracula's Bride can be found like a normal zombie donning her white wedding dress. Okay. You moved one. She's it. My next is Dracula himself. There we stab up. Is she... does she not drop anything? Oh yeah, she does drop. Stuff seems to be the same stuff as uh, Dracula. Yep. So nothing new. Let's try fighting her in survival. And she's dead. Then there's uh, the... Ah. Then there's the, then there's Frank. Firstly, it's not Frankenstein. Secondly, it's not, nor is it Frankenstein's monster. But if you actually read the book, you'll know that Frankenstein was the monster, but not the, but the mon, the people out to, the creature that he created was not a monster. It was, anyway. Frankenstein is a large beast that can be found at the, at night, when in range of the player, he will uh, summon lightning around himself. And he drops ripped cloth. Let's kill a few more of him. Just to make sure that's all he drops. Oh no, he dropped something else. Hmm. Anyway, he also dropped a metal bolt. Let's kill him in survival with the diamond arrow and sword. Ah, oh, there we go, he's dead. Got me a bit low, but I was just running at him, straight at him, and just stabbing him in the face. Right, so last of the monsters is 
Frankenstein's Bride. Frankenstein's Bride is basically a buffed zombie. She beats a white wedding gown. Bears a white wedding gown. You Frankenstein's Bride. Uh, hold on. Here is food. Luke eated. I want to get to golden apple to eat. Oh, wait. Oh, there's food in there. Well, there's no golden apples in there. New. Let's build them off it. Where's food? Raw food, mushrooms, crops. Here we go, golden apple. I'm gonna take that to eat to to heal. Oh, so yeah, Frankenstein's bride. She's a small female version of Frankenstein. Does she drop anything? Oh, I know you don't. There's no escaping. Uh, yeah, no, she doesn't drop anything unique. She just drops the same stuff as Frankenstein. I'm gonna eat this golden apple to heal up first. Nom nom nom. Place her down. Stab her up. Easy peasy. It only did half heart damage to me. Right, so new block. Spooky stone. This is a shapeless crafting recipe. You need four soul sand, four soul soil and a stone block. If you're itching for a challenge, craft yourself a, a piece of a spooky stone and listen carefully. This single piece of stone contains insane amounts of evil out. Evil energy! E enough to call the horde a very dangerous beings. If you wish to face these beings, uh, head on, look, follow these instructions. So let's get some spooky stone. Oh, I'm gonna go spook. We've got spooky stone. Can, I, can you place this down? Yes, you can, and that's a pretty cool texture. It's also animated. Yeah, that's cool. It's cool, cool. So the boss, the Reaper. The Reaper is a uh, powerful undead boss with a sharp and hard-hitting scythe. When attacking a player, he has the ability to call lost souls to attack you. The Reaper drops uh, Bottled Spirit, an item that can be used to craft a Reaper armor and multiple sets of wings. More on that later. He ha also has a chance to drop his scythe along with his skull. They have to make an entire altar to him, so it's... Uh, Squeaky stone in the center, obsidian souls, and okay. So, obsidian soul, soul sand. Oh, I'm just gonna empty out my inventory real quick. Of these things that I do not need. Soul sand, obsidian, soul torch, and a bone block. Soul torch. Boom. Block. And a with And a river skull. Alright, let's do some of them. So, put that there. 
Then we put the soul sand there, 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 and there. Obsidian there, 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 and there. Bone block there. Soul torches there, 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 and there. And we have a skull there. And that didn't work. Burning block with a skull, soul torches on the soul sand. Yeah, I did that right. Why is it not done anything? So, um, um, Interact get what? In Interact go forward. Could you what? What? I have no idea why this isn't working. I did everything right. This, like, did I need soul? S show soul sand there, not soul soil. So why isn't it? So I did, I think it showed me. Yeah, that's uh, there. That, uh, that, uh. There's a panel. That's just not working. I did everything exactly how it how it showed, and it's not doing anything. There's one more thing I can try. Game rule mob spawning true. Then try again, maybe. No. No. No death. Well, this does not work then. Oh, there's a bunch of... Wait, what? Oh, that's the witch. Now, am I turning that back to false? Fall. Mm, would help if I pressed tab. And if I wasn't getting hit, false. Kill at E. There we go. Ah, right. So, because that didn't work, I'm not going to show off the... Uh, the Reaper because, well, if it, if you can't summon him, there's, there's no point in me showing him off because it's not like you're going to be able to battle him in the game without cheats. So, next up in the book was that meat mallet, zombie meat mallet thing. So yeah, you've got the zombie armor, zombie mallet, so it's just like the uh, the drops from the zombie, and then yeah, that 
Talk about the sticks. Uh, let's get the zombie. They got boots, leggings, helmet. Yeah, the zombie leather and the other thing. You got the zombie mallet. Boots, leggings, and helmet. Yeah, where's the zombie? Ch oh, there it is. Chest plate. Don't know. I didn't see it. So hold on. Uh, you move zero. So one and a half. One. So yeah, this is a bit weird. Some diamond. Yeah, two and a half armor bars. Weird. Some diamond, my you. That's not bad because you uh, you just need to kill zombies and zombies aren't super difficult to kill and you can make a mob farm for it, so not too, not too bad. And then the mallet is 6 attack damage, 1 less than the sword, diamond sword. Uh, inflicts weakness on mobs when hit. Can these be enchanted? Let's see. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah. Well, would help if I did it the right way around. So yeah, they can all be enchanted. I'm going to assume that all the weapons and armor can all be enchanted as well. Alright, then you have the witch equipment, which is like the witch, witch warts. And then you got the witch staff. Inflicts negative status effects upon on mobs. So, which one, two, three, four? Oh, I actually got two helmets. Boots. Then the witch staff does six attack damage. And the armor is same as the zombie. I think it should be a little bit better than zombie armor because witches have one rarer and two harder to kill. Uh, but let me summon like a vin. Some vin. I punch him and he gets a negative status effect. Oh, that one poisoned him. Ow. He almost one-shot me. Give that pea golden apple. There you go. Then you have the werewolf armor. Which is... Yeah. I'm going to share that off in a moment. Go back in creative mode, feast. Uh, hold on. Just check them out. Where? Wool. What? Eh, what? Eh, ah. Uh. One, two, three, four, back. Floor. Oh, six attack damage. Oh, I like this. F five. Ye. Yeah. This is a cool armor set. Uh, do the claws do anything special? Uh, these claws grant the wear boss when they strike an enemy at night. So let's go to key mode zero, summon Vinny again. 
Hey, he has strength and speed. For a few seconds, strength too. That's not bad. Boost the damage of the sword. And it's set. Uh, oh, is this as good as diamond or better than them? So one and a half. So it's as good as diamond. That's good. Yeah, pretty good. So probably the best set. So, well, definitely the best set so far. Maybe the best. Even the best set. In it, I don't know whether you'll have to take a look at the other sets. So then there's the vampire set. Uh, if, vampire dagger. If a mob is killed with this blade, the hold gains health back. So I've not been into the screen. Vamp. Vamp. One, two, three. Four. Yeah. This one's not as good as the werewolf one. So it does six attack damage. One, zero. It's. Ah. Is it as good as diamond? Yeah, it's as good as diamond. So let's get Vinny in here. What? What? Oh. He's a trader. So you can get Pharaoh's Jewel, Black Goo, Werewolf Claw, Ancient Bandages, Metal Bolts, and Bottle Spirits. Oh, and if you hit him, he disappears. On. It is nice that they, they disappear. You can just hit him to make him disappear. Then if you don't want him hanging around your base, you just get rid of him real easy. Don't know why now of all times he decided to spawn himself in. I thought like, it was like the death thing finally working for some reason. And then you just have, uh, well, you do have mommy armor by accidentally uh, went past it. Well, I'll show it off here real quick. There's no weapons, I'll just do mommy. And there we go. This looks uh, pretty cool though. Yeah. And I'm guessing it's as good as diamond. Nope, it's uh, worse than diamond. Same as zombie and witch. Right, so. Reaper armor. So, yeah, you just got the bottle of spirits and then you got the Reaper scythe. There's a 10% chance of dropping the scythe. When used on the ground, the user can summon a friendly lost soul that attacks monsters. So, let's check this out. Reaper. Reapers. Yeah, I like this one. This is a cool one. So let's get Vinny in here. Oh, wait, why is it not as good as Diamond? Well, that's disappointing. It should be at least as good as Diamond. Should be at least as good as Diamond there because there's other sets from weaker monsters that's as good as Diamond. Oh, well, these souls are a bit lame. And it's on cooldown, there we go. Well, the souls just killed each other. That's dumb. And they're not even, like, as fast as... Uh, the. This is... This is not worth fighting a boss for. Come on. Lame. Totally underwhelming and disappointing. 
Extras, you can make wings. Uh, this add-on comes packed with uh, four sets of wings. Most of them are only craftable with Reaper Boss. Uh, when the Reaper Boss is defeated, however, you are able to craft a uh, set early on in uh, the pack. Uh, then upgrade them later on when you have defeated the Reaper. Other than the set of wings you craft early on, they all have the same flight time. To use them, equip them, crouch, jump, then steer in the direction you want to go. Those are the recipes. So... Then we go to game mode 1 and grab a pair of wings. Wing. So we've got skeleton, devil, demon, and bat. I'm going to get demon wings. Oh, wait. Oh, I think. Yeah, and that's the devil, and that's the demon wings, I'm pretty sure. Anyway, so it said. Crouch jump. Oh, and then. Okay. I did not mean to do that. So crouch jump. Okay, you hold crouch and jump, and then you can fly. For a short period of time. I mean, uh, I mean, it's kind of cool, but eh, Elytra's just bare. Uh, I stay offline because I was in create. I'm in creative. You just press and hold, crouch and uh, jump and you fly. So yeah, that's the end of this add-on. So yeah, cool mobs and stuff. There's some stuff that could be uh, balanced a bit better. Uh, the, like, someone in death just did not work, like, at all. And I have no idea why. So that definitely needs to be fixed but yeah i hope you guys all did enjoy this video i hope to see you guys in the next one and i hope you all have a fun a fantastic halloween night uh, ooh, and uh, bye bye